It's Thursday, January 13th, 2022, and this is your Gaming Morning Show Morning Gaming News. Um, some news stories today. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is uh, this This one's kind of neat. Um, I've ever played a game and and you need to you need to open a door and it's oh no it's locked uh but good news you have a lock pick um and then it loads up a lock picking mini game to unlock the door is that your favorite part of games well if so then you're gonna like this because steam is getting a digital museum for lock picking mini games um so basically what this sounds like is just a uh, a game that's just full of lock picking mini games from dozens of different games. Oh, That's the best part. So, like in Fudge Village, when we have to mm -hmm. find a lock pick, mm -hmm. this is the kind of stuff that's in this museum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is from Anna Diaz of Polygon. Um, and so oftentimes it's, you know, there there's different styles of lock picking mini games, but usually it's like hold this stick at this angle and then push these buttons and then it unlocks the doors. It's just that over and over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, each each mini game in this museum includes a note from professional game designers about it. Uh, as a game designer behind the museum, uh, oh, Jonaman Norhagen often found himself buying and downloading other games to study them. Uh, he says, quote, how nice it would be, I thought, if someone collected all these references for particular ways of doing things in one place. Imagine. So this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Down says, uh, it sounds so stressful. Maybe it's not as stressful when you take out all of the all of the things around the lockpicking and you can just focus on the lockpicking <laughs> for the purity of the lockpicking. I uh, don't think this would be as much fun, but <laughs> I'll visit the museum. So museums are nice. They are. Um, in our next news story, we continue our ongoing uh, ongoing segment of talking about doom in new ways because that's what's getting reported on this slow news cycle um, this one is uh, a doom game inside of Minecraft this is from Jared Moore of IGN um, this is you know this one's a, a different one because it's not putting doom on a new screen it's it's creating a new doom game so this is a fan-made take on the franchise um and uh you can see you can you could put yourself in the shoes of this series iconic doom marine um all through different doom based levels inside of minecraft and it looks it looks pretty good they did a good job I think um, this is something you could play. You're so good at Minecraft. Were you ever good at Doom? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go. I played a lot of Doom. So yeah, check it out. It's a. Uh, it took them uh, over two years to develop, and there's a trailer that's linked in the story that we provided. Um, it uses data pack, data packs, command blocks, and a custom resource pack. Um, turns all of the uh, enemy mobs into doom monsters um obviously makes your player character look like the doom marine um and adds weapons and guns and stuff it's pretty solid i'm watching the trailer again right now it looks pretty fun i have to check it out doom. maybe i'll i'll add the data packs and uh set a whole horde of doom monsters on our uh, GMS plays realm. <laughs> I'd, I'd prefer you don't. <laughs> I I die enough like with just the basic stuff. <laughs> so. Mike was talking about having a surprise for Temple of the Six. Maybe this is what it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Doom monsters. <laughs> Uh, in our last news story of the day, uh, PUBG Battlegrounds has uh, recently gone free to play uh, or is planning to go free to play, um, which I don't think we've actually talked about that. Um, I don't recall that being in our news, but uh, PUBG is going free to play. Um, and this story from Jared Moore of IGN uh, says that PUBG going to free to play, uh, according to the developers, 
is, quote, in no way a response to Fortnite and Apex Legends. I mean, uh, I didn't even know PUBG uh, used to cost money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in other other news, uh, Sony and Microsoft are buying a bunch of develop developers, but it's not an arms race. <laughs> in, in other news that people say things that aren't true because they're obviously true. <laughs> they do know that they don't have to put the inside thoughts in the press release, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, during an interview with Games Radar, studio creative director Dave Kurd discussed its move to free-to-play um, and says, quote, We came to the decision to make PUBG Battlegrounds free-to-play because we feel that it is truly the right time. Our game is in a great place with eight maps, an engaged community, and our deep gun mechanics. So this is the natural next step and a great way to introduce more players to our universe. I know there are a lot of people who in, are, are are interested in PUBG, but have never gotten around to playing it for various reasons. Now is the perfect moment to get started. Deep gun mechanics. Deep gun mechanics. The deeper, deeper Deep. gun mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> um, PUBG is one of those games that uh, I, I never got around to playing. I still don't think I'm going to, even though it's free. But the, yeah, the it's slightly easier now, I suppose. Yeah, kind of like Smart said. I, I wasn't interested because it was cost money, but now that it's free, uh, I'm still probably not going to play it. But it's good to know that it's free. Yeah, there's a chance. Um, they are. Um, this article doesn't uh, detail it, but there's an article, I believe, on Polygon that goes into some more details. They are offering some perks for those who have pre previously purchased PUBG uh, as it transitions to the free to play model. Uh, it sounds like, as with most of these free to play uh, battle royales, there's you know, a battle pass or there's some sort of upgrade you can purchase every season. It sounds like if you've previously purchased the game, you will get that upgrade automatically um, just to reward those who have financially supported the game in the past. <clears throat> well, nice. Um, and, and always last but never least, we finish off today's gaming morning show, morning gaming news with the world renowned segment within a segment where we take a look at what is out today. And it's Thursday. It's not quite Thursdays of yore, but there's more than three games, so that's cool. Uh, we have Astroneer out on Switch, in uh, Eschatos out on Switch, uh, the Anacrusis out on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, and PC, Dual Princess out on Switch, Mary Skelter 2 out on PC, Battle Brothers out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story out on Xbox One, Nova 111 out on Switch, Hocus 2 out on Switch, that's Hocus 2, not Hocus Pocus 2, uh, Eternal Radiance out on Switch, Pixel Game Maker Series, Game Battle Ty Tycoon out on Switch, Sniper Time, The Shooting Range out on Switch, Headland out on Switch, and for the most prestigious award in video game focused morning shows, your favorite segment within a segment within a segment, today's name of the morning goes to Rescue Party Live out on PC. Feels like Thursday or, again. Yeah, or it's Rescue Party Live. <laughs> 